Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today the question I'm answering is, what's in the box in regards to this card box? This is the Wrath expansion for Draconis Invasion, a fantasy deck building game released in 2016 from Keji Inc. This expansion was released just last year, plays one to six players, and offers some new rules for Draconis. The evil hordes of Draconis have returned, introducing 410 beautifully illustrated cards that enhance the base game with added terror management, culling, pusher luck, player interaction, and many hidden surprises. Your brave warriors will progressively unlock 12 blind pack mini expansions with every new game for an unfolding saga of blood and glory. So hearing that, you now know this is a legacy style expansion. So I'm going to try to be as careful as possible not to spoil anything in this box. Now I do have to thank Keji for sending us a review copy of this and letting me check this out. From what I hear, this greatly improves the base game of Wrath, or sorry, Draconis Invasion. So without ado, I will take the shrink off and let's take a look inside the box. So here you have the Wrath expansion box. Nice, easy to open here. We have the instructions, which actually fit this box size really nicely. Um, really simple uh, here, but again, this is a legacy style expansion. So you're looking at setup and you're going to reveal the first stage. So the new rules are going to get in introduced a bit at a time. There are some new rules listed here as well. So again, I don't want to spoil anything. So we're just going to take a look at what we have. So this says 13 separators. But it does note spoilers, so if you start looking in the separators, you're going to see see spoilers. So we're not going to open up the separators, but these are separators just like the other ones. Uh, note these are taller than the rest of the cards by a significant amount. So you can kind of tell how much taller they are, and you'll be able to read the words. So that is stage 13. I'm going backwards here, obviously. Um, we have another baggie. This was something that was in the original game that I, I'm missing the reason why. I'm not sure why there's a baggie in Draconis, but I haven't played it yet, so... We're going to look and go through, so we have a bunch of stages here, stage stacked interestingly, so stage 6, alright, you know what, forget it, we're just going to take it all out, and we're going to take a look, so this is going to be a nice quick unboxing video, because I don't want to spoil anything, so we've got all kinds of stuff here, tucked into this box rather interestingly, it's a lot of stuff, look, look at all that, I'm impressed, That's, that, is, that is a significant amount of stuff, this box was full, that is a lot of cards. The other thing that I will note, this will easily fit in the base Draconis box. So start off, we have rules online, so you have a QR code. That's always a nice bonus. So we have a pack of rules with stage one. So you're adding a significant chunk, but there's more to it. We also have, obviously, more campaigns, because I can see a campaign card there. So my, I guess that's a minor spoiler. Um, and then I think I saw, yes, more square cards. So these should be more... Uh, enemies to attack and it says chasing demons but again i'm not going to read this off so this is all unlocked in stage one so as soon as you open up this expansion you're going to crack this stuff open you can tell there's going to be more bad guys to fight you've got more cards that you can buy and draft as well as more of the um campaigns to complete so here's stage one we'll put this off to the side stage two we're looking at significantly more things and it does say hunting season so that's it i'm just going to give you the name as you can see that it looks like just a significant number of more cards but not nearly as many and i don't see anything else for stage two so i'm gonna put this over here into this pile and then we're going into stage three stage three is another it's a slightly smaller pack of cards again some new cards stage four interestingly is no new standard size cards but it looks like we do have more enemies you're gonna have to fight so more enemies are gonna introduce sorry in stage four stage five we're back to cards more Dracon. Oh, it looks like different types of cards, though. So it looks like we may have uh, not just buying cards. Then stage... Was that five? That was five. So six. I'm trying to make sure these aren't nine. Six is more cards. A uh, thinner pack. Then we get into stage seven. It's a nice big chunk. Nice big chunk of cards. And we'll just look and say, oh, it's an invasion card. on that. Oh. Then we move on to stage eight. This is the biggest chunk since the beginning, since the first stack. You got all kinds of new stuff added in in eight. 
then stage nine again is going back to adding more baddies, more things for you to fight, more square cards. Then stage 10 is a nice small pack, so maybe that'll be a quick one. Then we get to 11, big thick chunk, and then the finale, pack 12. And again, these are just uh, your sorting cards. The, the bad part is the fact they're spoilers, so I'm not sure how you're supposed to sort your cards without spoiling. Maybe you're going to learn there's new types, so like, that's, that's a lot of stuff. I'm impressed. Lots of neat looking stuff in here. Uh, this is going to have the same issue that the base game does of, I don't know how I'm going to store these square cards. So I'm going to put all these in here. And then, see these don't fit. See that? Uh, so there. And then the square cards look like they have to go flat. So we're going to put square cards flat. Here, this will work. We got it all back in. This there, nice simple rules. This is the first expansion for Draconis Invasion can only be played with the base game. Um, it's designed so each pack's open in order. Note that after 12 stages, the revealed cards may be played in any combination you've played. And then there's a separator card. So they're saying don't open the separators till the end and putting everything away. Uh, each new game, open the next pack. So before your first game, open three packs labeled stage one. Um, you'll find cards for blah, blah, blah. I don't want to give that away. Looks cool. I had no clue this was a legacy style expansion. I'm a big fan of that. I like staged expansions that slowly teach you new rules and introduce new things. So there you have what you get in the box for Draconis Invasion Wrath Expansion. The first expansion for the Draconis Invasion deck building game. 12 stage adventure in here with various different types of cards unlocked along the way with new rules being added at each of the stages. And I don't know if it's 12 new rules or not because I didn't want to spoil it. So this is a nice solid box, very full of cards, really impressed by the amount of content in here. Still not sure how you're supposed to store the square cards appropriately, but eh, that's something we'll figure out. Um, really looking forward to digging into this and the base game to check out what you get with Draconis Invasion. Uh, it's a very Dominion based game with some attacking going on as well and supposedly some brand new elements added into this game, including ways to call your deck, which I think was something missing in the original. So that's what you get in the box for Draconis Invasion Wrath. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, and at the website, tabletopbellhop.com, where you can find awesome gaming content, including unboxing videos, reviews, and answers to your gaming questions. If you've got a gaming or game night question for me, hit up the webpage, click on Ask the Bellhop, or send me an email, questions at tabletopbellhop.com. If you dig what you see here and on the website and on social media and all my game pictures on Instagram, it'd be awesome if you headed to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and considered tipping your bellhop. That's it for me tonight. Thank you for joining me. Good night and game on.